unreal. Good morning internet, it is 5 to 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Dondo, Angola. I am having a breakfast at the rooftop of the place that I've uh, been staying last night. And I even have a view over the river again, look. So that's not a bad place to start the day. All right, we got some egg and we got some bread and I think I'm gonna get a tea as well. The plan, the plan for today is I wanna follow this road over here and then I'm gonna go up a little bit because somewhere over here are some amazing waterfalls that I wanna see. Um, so from here via this route, that's about 270 kilometers. Okay. <laughs> Ciao, obrigada. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, I'm first going to. Obrigada. <laughs> I'm first going to that uh, petrol station that I saw fill up and then uh, continue or start the day really as you can see I shifted back to my old camera <laughs> I was not happy with uh, the uh, the the one that I tried I didn't think the audio was good and I didn't like the the wire sticking out on the side so uh, I tried it but it wasn't good enough so Bom dia. É completo. Full, full. Tá bom. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I am excited for today. I think it's going to be a good day. Oh. Little flooding. Look at those mountains, eh? So beautiful. Hitting some dirt. See, it's not so uh, muddy here anymore, right? Angola is already a lot sandier. I also remember that from uh, Botswana. There was also sand, sand, sand. It's definitely not so clay anymore, like in the majority of West Africa.
with her family living, I think. Wow, it is gorgeous here. What a lush paradise. Hola! <laughs> village okay. Hi. <laughs> very cute What a fun track! I am really liking this, eh? It's also the temperature is now so nice. It's warm, <laughs> but it's not like boiling hot. Obrigada! <laughs> Look at this! Fantastic, right? Yeah, this is the Kwanza again. Must be, no? Yeah? Kwanza River. Yeah. It's again the, the River Kwanza. Bom dia! Bom dia!
Bom dia. Amazing ride. Yeah. Stunning, stunning place, right? Oh, and these rock outcrops, they're sedimentary conglomerates, but the conditions that resulted in these rock uh, outcrops here, that still remains a geological mystery. <laughs> so they don't quite know. Oh, I am loving today's ride, really. It's, it's so beautiful everywhere. Like Angola is blowing my mind. And I'm only halfway, and I think the biggest attraction is still coming. Those are the, the falls. So let's go to you. It's 114 kilometers to go to the waterfall. Bah. See my own tire track. <laughs> Not too many people come here. They are, they are doing a little bit of farming. There's some people working the fields here. Not on a, on a very small scale only. only five more kilometers to go and then there well there should be a place to stay right next to the falls oh water levels are really high you see that those trees are on the water here too. Hi! Hello! Bom dia! <laughs> I have to adapt my Portuguese accent a little bit <laughs> because I was saying kind of like in the Brazilian way Bom dia but then people think that I'm Brazilian <laughs> so I'm trying to sound more 
like Angolans. Bon, they just say like the Portuguese way, bon dia. Oh wow, I'm actually getting sprayed from the waterfall. This is not rain, this is waterfall spray, I'm telling you. Bon dia! Oh, boa tarde! <laughs> Wow, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. So let's see how close I can get to the falls without being sprayed completely. <laughs> um, so these are the Kalandula Falls and they're over a hundred meters tall. So there's some serious waterfalls, but there's, there's almost nobody coming here. Um, so I'm just gonna see ooh, how close I can get. And if you then can still hear anything because the sound of the, the noise of the waterfall is pretty hectic. But let's see how far I can go. Yeah. What an amazing place. Unreal, look at this. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> look at this! Wow, fantastic. Let's see if I can get a bit closer still. Maybe this way. Surely this is a path, right? <laughs> Looks like a path to me. Oh, spider web. Sorry, spider. Uh, no, I can't, can't cross here, I think. Uh, my guess is that in the dry season, that you can come here really easily. Somehow, I am again in the wet season. When the rainy season ended in West Africa, I think it kind of began in Angola and Zambia. And... Uh, I don't know, East Africa also has its own rainy seasons. I think most of these areas, they even have two rainy seasons a year. So it's, it's almost impossible, well, for me, it is impossible to avoid it. I mean, I stopped for four months last year to kind of wait out uh, the rainy season. But yeah, if I want to avoid it all the time, then I am stopping more than that I'm actually riding. So. There's just no real way to plan this perfectly, you know. But then again, these waterfalls are obviously a lot more impressive when there is a lot of rain. So that's the upside. I am going to walk back to my room, which has an amazing view on the falls. So talking about a room, with a view <laughs> look at this i have straight view of the falls how awesome is this and go work on some videos do some editing uh, so that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then i will see you in the next video